uh, what I'm going to do, you're going to see, is planetary dispelling of evil on Earth through a puja, simply through a puja. Yeah, so check this out. Before we do this, um, let's focus this as a meditation. Yeah, we're still going to do Om. Yeah, but receive this as a meditation. So just watch really close and listen. Oh. Oh, my. 
I am a strand of loving energy within the stream of love divine. I am a point of sacrificial fire, focused within the fiery will of God, and thus I stand. I am a way by which men and women may achieve. I am a source of strength, enabling them to stand. I am a beam of light shining upon their way. And thus I stand. And standing thus revolve. And tread this way the ways of men and women. And know the ways of God. And thus I stand. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of physical strength. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of personal magnetism. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the power of self-centeredness and personal potency. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the clamor of the one at the center. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of rulership and of dictatorship and of wide control. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the messiah complex in the field of politics. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of selfish destiny, of divine right of kings personally exacted. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of destruction. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of isolation, of aloneness, of aloofness. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of superimposed will upon others and upon groups. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of love, of being loved. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of popularity. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of personal wisdom. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of selfish responsibility. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of too complete an understanding which negates right action. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of self-pity. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the messiah complex in the world of religion and world need. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of fear based on undue sensitivity. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of self-sacrifice. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of selfish unselfishness. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of self-satisfaction. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of selfish service. The power of the light 
prevents the appearance of the glamour of being busy. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of cooperation with a plan in an individual and not a group way. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of active scheming. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of creative work without true motive. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of good intentions, which are basically selfish. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the spider at the center. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of God in the machine. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the devious and continuous manipulation. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of self-importance from the standpoint of knowing of efficiency. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of harmony aiming at personal comfort and satisfaction. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of war. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of conflict with the objective of imposing righteousness and peace. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of vague artistic perception. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of psychic perception instead of intuition. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of musical perception. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the pairs of opposites in the higher sense. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of materiality an overemphasis of forms. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of intellect. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of knowledge and of definition. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of assurance based on a narrow point of view. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of form which hides reality. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of organization. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the outer which hides the inner. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of devotion. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of adherence to forms and persons. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of idealism. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of loyalties of creeds. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of emotional response. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of sentimentality. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of interference. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of lower pairs of opposites. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of world saviors and teachers. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of a narrow vision. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of fanaticism. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of magical work.
The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the relation of the opposites. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of subterranean powers. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of that which brings together. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of the physical body. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of mysterious and the secret. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of sex magic. The power of the light prevents the appearance of the glamour of emerging manifested forces. The power of the light negates the quality of the glamour from affecting you. The power of the light destroys the life behind the glamour. As a soul, I work in light, and darkness cannot touch me. I take my stand within the light. I work, and from that point, I never move. The light is one, and in that light shall we see light. This is the light that turns the darkness into day. silent peace and place and bring that from thence the gift of understanding thus with the light we work and turn the darkness into day with power upon its beam the light is focused on the goal. The power of our united light prevents the appearance of all world glamour. The power of our united light negates the quality of the glamour from affecting all mankind. The power of our united light destroys the life behind the glamour.
to end all glamour and untruth. So let it be and help you in your own life to end all glamour and untruth. me that's what I do all the time yeah so the effect of when you take the time to maybe consider listening to one of my CDs you know just think about you know the fact that all alone you know in, you know sitting on the edge of something you know like in a place like this you know where I'm sitting in Kathmandu and I'm basically I choose to be left myself in a way. I have people around me who are in the Sangha and we're all there to support the fact that I'm existing. But my presence is in state of meditation. And I'm doing puja and I'm listening to my pujas and I'm creating a ceremonial process within them that recapitulates my life. So it doesn't matter if I'm sitting in a throne seat you know, in a monastery and given a lot of teachings and everything, I'm already doing that. You know, I know that I do what I do through my mind. You know, just through my mind. Whatever reaction I have dispels the glamour. And that's under every second of my life. You know, no matter where I'm at, no matter what I'm doing, my brain is dispelling glamours. You know, in Kathmandu, in, in Tibet, I'm known as Karma Sanom Funsuk. Yeah, that means it says that my brain is so instilled with the highest level of karma that I can dispel anything and create anything in manifestation of goodness. Yeah, that's what karma of Sanom Fonsuk, the master magician of the mind. Yeah, due to great karma, great good karma. Yeah, you know, so I don't put it to waste. You know, I, I'm not a plumber, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not your average American. You know, I'm Buddha, and, and I'm this from childhood on, you know. 
So all the time I'm sitting like this, you know, and I'm establishing radionics and science, but I'm using it in order to transmit my blessings all around the world.